Hello and welcome to another episode of Discussing LDS Theology on Planet Zolar. I correspond recently with two Mormons at WalterMartin.org regarding the question, Does God have a God and his God before him, etc.? They are, Marvin, also known by the internet moniker, Russian Wolf, and another Mormon who goes by the internet moniker, Stem Elbow. Both claim to be Mormons in good standing with the LDS Church, and, if I recall correctly, both served a two-year mission for the LDS Church. Both claim to be knowledgeable in the aspects of their LDS faith. Marvin and Stem Elbow, thank you for sharing your comments on the Internet. Marvin, why do you think Mormon missionaries at Mormon.org have a distinct pattern of not telling the whole LDS story? Is it that they don't know the story? When I asked the question, does God have a God, they invariably dodged that question saying that, quote, some things are difficult to understand, and then ask me, if I've prayed about Joseph Smith as a prophet, Russ, it is simple. For you the question has a simple, definite answer. For the LDS, the question has no answer, because it is unknown. God has not revealed the answer. It is not a dodge. Missionaries are not called to answer every frivolous question that anyone comes up with. The question they asked in return was to get the discussion back on topic and focus on the core doctrines of the LDS Church. Not revealed, you say? Marvin, I find that hard to believe. To be blunt, I do not think that you are telling me what you know. I think you'll agree that Mormon prophets and theologians have written much on the topic of eternal progression. While the question, does God have a God, might be frivolous to some Mormons, it wasn't frivolous to Mormon founder, Joseph Smith. A quote from Mormon apostle, Lorenzo Snow, sums it up best. Quote, as man as God once was. As God is, man may be, unquote. According to Mormon leaders, God having a God and his God before him, is the crux of the LDS religion. It's about, quote, eternal progression, unquote. Our other guest, Stem Elbow, states the following. Quote, good answer, Marvin. It appears that Russ is not grasping that we have no derived theology. There are speculations which make it appear so to him, but, in truth, they are speculations which may or may not be truth. We await further information on the subject. Oh well, who would have guessed that Russ doesn't really understand what we believe? Oh wait. I think we all kind of get it, except Russ. Love, stem elbow. Unquote. Stem Elbow, I think it is unfortunate that you have only speculations as a guide. What is a prophet for, and what is an individual Mormon to believe as genuine LDS theology, if your prophet's statements are about speculation? Am I to believe that LDS prophets and theologians are mere speculators? What is the truth according to the LDS religion? Joseph Smith said, in what is known as the King Follett Discourse, quote, Here then is eternal life. To know the only wise and true God, and you have got to learn how to be gods yourselves, and to be kings and priests to God the same as all gods have done before you, unquote. Journal of Discourses, Volume 6, Page 4, and also, Teachings of the Prophet Joseph Smith, Page 346. What's going on here, gentlemen? Feel free to add your comments in the comment section below. If you decide that you'd like to have a serious discussion about the LDS idea that God had a God, please feel free to inform. I await your cogent response. Before you respond, please consider Isaiah 43, 10, 44, 6 and 45, 5. God is the only God. Don't you think that if God had a God that he would know about it? Who do you believe? The Mormon Church? Or God? Grace and peace.